Here at RNA Scott, we hold the MAN Truck and Bus UK franchise for Gainsborough and the surrounding area. But we don't just service and repair trucks, we do cars as well. Our competitive car service and MOT packages start from as little as £99 and include parts, labour and VAT. But we're not just fanatical about vehicles, we are passionate about football too and are proud to sponsor Gainsborough Trinity. Don Triffitt win, 13th in the table. So what are your thoughts on that game? Um, I come in at half time and I said, to, I said to the lads, look, you know, we were in control for 40 minutes a game. And then we switched off for two goals, but I emphasised to them that, you know, don't don't be a nearly team, don't be a team that's like, oh, we nearly got a result against Tamworth. Go and take game back, scruff at neck and go and get three points. And that's what we've done, so I'm really pleased, really, really pleased. Do you feel the turning point of the game was the first goal, right on half time? Yeah, we needed it. We needed it because it gave us a lift at half time. Um, let's not forget we've got a, a young team in there. Um, we're not many, not too many experienced heads that know what to do in, in them sort of situations. So we are, we, it, we needed it to obviously give us that little bit of a lift at half time to, to set up lads. Look, we've we've created chances. We've scored a goal. We're two one. We're back in it. Let's go and win game. And, and I was really pleased with him today. Really pleased. How do you feel your two debutants did today? But they did really well. Matt Sparrow, uh, you can see he's got great quality. Um, he keeps ball really well. He's disciplined in what he does. Keeps things ticking over. Um, and you don't play, you know, 500 league games if you're not if you're not any good. Um, so I was really pleased with Spice today. Um, and obviously Matty Temple's come up, uh, Templeton's come on and shown great quality. And it were a great finish for goal. Great play by Jordan Fulis as well. But his finish were, you know, top class. The start of the second half, Tamworth came out, had a few chances, your goalkeeper made two or three outstanding saves, what, what were your thoughts on him? I'm really pleased with George, um, he, he, he come highly recommended to me by Morgs, um, obviously Morgs has had him at Sheffield United, he, he's represented his country as well George, so I, I was really pleased with him, he come for crosses as well, he made two great saves, and when you've got that, it gives you a platform to obviously go and win games of football, and that's what we did, so I was really pleased with George, and he, he deserved his man at match. Nathan Jarman scored the second goal. Has it, has it been a worry that he's not been scoring many this season? No, no, it's not a worry to me. Um, you know, let's not forget that he missed three weeks of pre-season and the pre-season that we did were tough. So he's missed out on three weeks of fitness work. He missed out on games as well. He, I think he only played two games or part of two games leading up to the season. So, the, you know, the, I'm a big believer that you can always get fitter in season as well. Um, we train two nights a week, so the lads have got a day of recovery through from each training session. So the lads are getting pushed, and he's going to get pushed as well because I want him to be up there with, with leading goal scorers in the league come end of the season. And he's got, you know, he's got attributes. Great finish for for his second goal uh, for the second goal today, um, and it should give him confidence now. Um, but I, I'm not worried that he's not scored a lot of goals because obviously the reasons that I've just just given. Darlington next week, another fancied side. Do you feel a win t like today will give you confidence to turn your home form into a decent away form? Yeah, you know, I've just said to Dave that this the stato um, that you know if we can start picking up points away from home, we, we'd easily be in top eight, um, and we need to do that now because the zone form has been brilliant, and we need to take that winning mentality away from away from home. Um, people that say. We, uh, you know, away from home is different to playing at home. To me, it isn't. It's 11 v 11 on a football pitch. Crowd shouldn't influence anything. Um, you know, it, we're playing a good standard of football, and, and the crowd or outside factors shouldn't influence what goes on on a football pitch. And I, and I try and emphasise that to lads. You know, uh, and we have got a young team, and as soon as it clicks for them that we can go away from home and start picking up points and winning, we'll, we'll keep climbing the table like we are doing. Games for games this season, there's been lots of goals. Yeah. Do you prefer games like this or are you a 1 0 comfortable win? No, manager? I, I, I want clean sheets. You know, I, you know, I keep saying that I'm a defender, I pride myself on keeping clean sheets and, and do it nasty side at games. So I, I love that side of it. Foz is the other way, he wants us to go and outscore teams. So we've kind of got a bit of a balance, a bit of a balance going off. I, you know, I, I do prefer the, the 1 0 or the 2 0 where you've kept a clean sheet because. It gives you a platform to build on, but when you've got attacking play like we have and we've got players that are scoring goals like we have, then you're always going to be in a game of football. 
And finally, were you relieved or disappointed that you didn't have to come on today? <laughs> Um, I were a little bit relieved. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, I've been doing I've been doing a lot of work over the last few weeks. I've kept myself ticking over, um, but it, it's it's different. It's totally different. I mean, the more training I get, the less I'll you know the less I'll feel um, fatigued if I have to come on. Um, you know, we've got a, a ready-made replacement in Quinny today uh, for Johan, who I thought were excellent. Johan and Quinny's come on and, and sort of game out for us. Um, but that that wins about them lads today. They've they've earned that win. Um, they've asked. They've done what we've asked of them, um, and and it shows that we've we've got some really good young um, quality players at, at football club um, that will hopefully benefit us in the future. Um, but like I said, it's all about them lads today. They deserve that. Okay, thank you. Cheers, mate. Awesome.